Much of what happens in a hockey game is unpredictable. Players must be able to identify the opportunities that present themselves and react quickly. We cannot prepare for every situation in a game, but we can develop the tools that help players when they identify an opportunity to win a battle. How quick your feet are will determine whether or not you can get there fast enough to make the play. Transitions can be thought of as changes of direction. They include stops, turns, and pivots. Skaters who can stop and start quickly, move laterally while skating forwards or backwards, and pivot at top speed have an advantage in game situations. The agility of the athlete is at the core of developing good transitions. First, athletes should develop good dynamic balance, meaning that even while in motion, they are always in control of their body and capable of changing direction. Second, athletes must practice unconventional movements in order to learn how to combine the fundamentals into new functional tools. Here are five drills to work on agility and quick feet. Let's start with a warm-up drill. For this one, always face up ice. Start at the back pylon and accelerate to the pylon directly across from you. Then, skate backwards to the middle and stop. Now step over to the cone at one side and continue with step overs all the way to the other side. Return to the middle, skate backwards to the cone you started at and accelerate out of the circle to complete the drill. This drill is an excellent way to develop the fundamentals of the pivot while moving laterally with forwards and backwards crossovers. Starting at the red line, skate backwards, cross over to the middle of the ice, pivot forwards, continue crossing over while skating forwards, and when you get to the red line on the far side of the ice, stop and do the same thing on the way back. Try to complete each pivot while facing the middle of the ice. Once you've mastered the skating, Try carrying a puck the whole time. All the pivots in the last drill were quick, short pivots. The escape pivot is the opposite. It takes longer to execute, but when performed properly, the skater travels a much greater distance laterally. In this drill, we will work on both pivots. The skater starts backwards, executes an escape pivot to forwards, stops at the red line, and accelerates backwards. Pivots forwards again after a few quick strides and then drives to the net. For players who are still learning their pivots, do the drill without a puck until after the last pivot and then receive a pass from either the coach or the next player in line. The next drill focuses on crossing your feet and carrying the puck. Start by skating towards the first pylon and stop. Step over all the way to the second cone. Do step overs all the way back to the first. Now, make one crossover step up the ice, and then change directions. Go around the far side of the rebound board. Keep crossing over as you weave through the stick handling board. Finish with a shot. Remember to keep your feet moving throughout the drill. The last drill is difficult to do at top speed. Again, the focus is on keeping your feet moving. Try to accelerate out of every turn and pick up speed when crossing over. As you carry a puck through this course, don't just push it. Move the puck while you're moving your feet. These drills are specific to skating on the ice, but we can prepare for them by doing some work in the gym. This progression of drills is specifically designed to improve footwork and agility. Start by practicing lateral bounds with stability. Focus on finishing in a balanced position with the knee of your leg in the air, touching the calf of the leg planted on the ground. Now we'll add some hoops. The second exercise is called one, two, stick. Finish knee to calf and hold for two seconds. Next is one, two, cut. Instead of sticking when you get to the end, make a cut and come back. The fourth drill is called one, two, continuous. This time, make six cuts in a row. Finally, we have 1, 2, 90 degrees. For this one, we add hip rotation. You can do all these drills at home. If you don't have hoops, try drawing them on concrete with chalk. When it comes to training, you get out of it what you put into it. Doing each of these drills once won't necessarily make you better, but if you do each of these five drills for two minutes, a total of 10 minutes of quick feet each day, 
you'll be known as Crazy Legs in no time.